having a bullet to his, to his stomach and later being found dead at the scene. Let's bring our guests back in and discuss more. Uh, DeWitt, this is just a random tragedy. I mean, there's no other way, I think, of putting this. There was no rhyme or reason other than someone attempting to rob another person. And again, we have a senseless death. Uh, we may often see this case far too often. The charges are capital murder. What would you project is going to happen in this case as we follow it along? Uh, uh, well, I, I think the prosecution is going to be uh, pretty fervent uh, here in the prosecution of Mr. Antone. Um, you know, not only is it a random, a random act of violence, but, you know, you killed uh, a young guy who uh, has some popularity as an actor. And, and that means something uh, uh, in the prosecution's eyes, because once they go before a jury, you know, you get to tell the prosecution will have the ability to tell the story of the life that could have been. Uh, and even the life that was of Mr. Hassel uh, and cut short uh, by, you know, the random and violent acts of Mr. Antone. So I would expect the prosecution to really uh, go after Mr. Antone uh, pretty aggressively. I think you're seeing some first degree murder charges, definitely felony murder. Uh, but uh, I don't think anybody's going to be letting up easy on, on Mr. Antone. Yeah. Now, Joseph, kind of walk us through this, because 